Hey guys, shooting for max preps can be a challenge sometimes, and there's some things that you want to pay attention to. Come and watch this soccer game with him, and I'm going to give you some pointers on how to get better soccer photos to, that'll get accepted by max preps. Hey, what's up guys? John Osumi from Motion Shooter Photography coming at you again with another video. Today we're at a local stadium, uh, gonna do some varsity soccer with the boys' side. And um, I, haven't so I haven't shot soccer since last year, so it's gonna be a, a challenge for me to get my, uh, just get my timing down. But there's some definitely some things that you wanna pay attention to, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Hey, so while we're waiting for the game to start, I wanna talk a little bit about camera settings. Uh, since we're playing under stadium lights, the lighting is not real good, even though it seems real good. And the camera settings are gonna have to get pretty aggressive. So it's very similar to shooting inside of a gym. So my ISO to start is set at about 5,000 and my shutter speed is at 1 hundredth or 1 640th, excuse me. But I'm thinking I might change it. One of the key things is you want to make sure you're not shooting the players' backs. So I'm always trying to position myself so the play is either coming towards me or it's going sideways past me. So I'm going to set up even with the ball or behind the net. It just kind of depends on the situation. But with the game of soccer, you're moving a ton. So you can't really say that you're going to stay in one spot. One of the other tough things about shooting soccer is you have to wait for the openings to come to you. So you might have a, a partially obscured shot of a player, but you gotta really make sure you have a clear line of sight. And so sometimes that means letting shots go that you think that you have and settling for shots that are actually clearer with a clear line of sight. Hey, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw today, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. This is John Osumi from Motion Shooter Photography.